Hey guys, it's Smashball here. Back after the game completely failed and glitched on us. So, you're probably wondering what's in the next room. Well, the game decided to troll so much that the next room was the boss. So, this is what we'll be doing this episode. However, there are a few move changes. I leveled up to level 40 when I replayed this, so I now have the strongest magic moves. Avalanche is the strongest move that attacks all enemies. Inferno is the strongest move that attacks one target. Lightning is the strongest move that attacks one random target. And Maelstrom is the strongest move that attacks multiple random targets. Now Maelstrom is the strongest attack in the game. Period. This thing will destroy bosses. That's why it's very good to have while fighting any boss. So... Welcome Pirate Crew. We pass every trial of the treasure tower. I am the keeper of the tower's most sacred treasures. You have proven yourself worthy to receive one. Great. I'll take the golden key. Right now. You can take any of the treasures you desire except for the key. Because the key is just special. And you can't earn the key. It's not even meant for mortal hands. I mean, come on. It's just that important. Sorry, fish stick. We're here for the golden key, and if you don't, and if you won't hand it over, we'll fight our way to it. So be it. I was chosen by the gods to defend their treasure, and I will do so with my entire being, which was rather pathetic. Now, mermaid, you'll notice her tail color. Her tail color is what she is weak against. So, use color change. Curse you. Oh well. So now she's weak against fire before she was weak against ice. Now let's use Maelstrom just to show off how much pure damage it just... Yeah. That's about 120 greater damage. Right there. Starting up doing a little over 30. Four, five. Well, actually it's more like 150. But oh well. Color change again to yellow. Like that. Attack. Attack. I'm actually saving showing off lightning for a later time. In fact, I'll probably show off Avalanche and Inferno now. But lightning I'm saving for a special purpose. Yeah, if you notice by now, the mermaid uses two attacks at once, which is a bit odd and does make mermaid harder, but it's not really all that bad. There's Avalanche, there's Inferno, that just looks awesome. Killmax, Maelstrom. And that just completely destroys the boss once again. So, level up except for Sparrow. Oh well. Okay, let's go! You got the golden key. No, it was silver. Yay, now we can get out of here. Or not.
no, no, we're, we're just gonna die. Yet the ocean gods, they keep us from leaving with the key. Of course, once again, they don't try very hard. In fact, they're rather pathetic at it. Of course, we could just die here, or... We could just blow up a hole. So, now... We made it. Somehow we're on the beach. I don't quite understand how any of this works. But who cares? It's video game logic. So, let's go find Timber. And now we're a captain. Woohoo! Just getting stuff done like crazy here. Okay. So let's go all... Round Timber. Is our new ship? Yes, I will do with the wood from around here. So I have some magical properties. Yeah, the wood from dying trees. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea. That that really sounds like it could be a sturdy ship. Even though it maneuvers a bit faster and can fire more rapidly. In fact I'll actually show that. And so Timber picks... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. She throws the key on the ground. And has Timber pick it up. Instead of just handing it to him. Wow. Yeah, way to just... <sighs> yeah, because I do all the work. Here it is, his only line in the entire game outside of the intro and the ending. I. Yep. Wonderful. Hang on just a minute there. Hey, hey, we're not here to fight. After you guys wrecked our ship, we were caught in a huge storm and ended up here. Yeah, now we're stuck. Can you guys, give us a lift. Give me not a chance, you see rats. We'll ever trade for some information. What kind of information? We didn't tell you guys before, but we learned some important news about the golden chest. Well, I, I really wonder why he didn't tell us before. Oh, that's right, because they were busy being, trying to beat us. Even though we, I can fill you in if you just let us board your ship. So, say yes to let them on board. And they say they'll take you to Pyrite Island. So, let's go to Pyrite Island. Okay, we're like here, like you guys. Now give us the intel you promised. Yeah, yeah, listen up. Turns out the Navy stashed your precious chest on a secret island in the middle of the ocean. Wow, if that wasn't obvious, I don't know what was. Thing is, there's only one map in the entire world that can lead you there, and it's at the Navy headquarters. Well, that's just plain useless information. Yeah, nobody knows where the Navy headquarters is. Oh, maybe it's where all the Navy ships come out of. Wow. And even if we did, it's not like we could just sail there without beating half of the Navy Armada. Well, actually, find out where the Navy headquarters is. 
and Savage Figure World Map. Woo! <clears throat> if you guys get your bite timbered to make a ship, we'll help you guys get to the island. It's cool like that. Once we get you to the island, we'll let you handle infiltrating the base. Yeah, we're not trying to do it ourselves. <clears throat> Yeah, that is until we get the chest, of course. We'll let you guys go after the chest, as long as you let us take full credit for attacking the Navy HQ. I don't even say headquarters. So, what do you want to say? Just build us a ship, and the chest will be basically yours, even though you have to do everything and fight multiple bosses to get the chest. So you click for yes. All right, good to hear. Ha <laughs> ha. <clears throat> I might be going to do Timber's voice. Oh, let's explore the island. Okay, exploring the island. Um, all right, let's go over here. Um, there's a pirate and a bar. The bar doesn't have anything useful for us just yet. So let's get the swag capsule. Let's go. Let's go over to the expensive everything store. Yeah, everything expensive here. Just all this stuff. I'm going to everything is expensive. Take off the glove. Although it's defense plus five, I'm going to apply the. Holy shield, which is defense plus four. However, it does grant plus two HP. Fifty doubloons. Um, I'm not going to be doing this, so sell it. Okay. So let's go buy shake bomb, fuse bomb. Turkey leg, which fully restores HP, one rum, and one vodka, which fully restores alcohol. <laughs> Alright. That does it for everything I want to buy. Oh, except for a few lines. Okay. Just for everything I want to buy, be sure you have few cannons and stuff because you'll be getting into quite a few boss battles all right but before we set off to the Navy headquarters let's go back Is it mine before we leave on our epic journey so let's get straight all right so I will see you guys at the other end of here through the forest. Finder. Well, this is an island specifically for pirates to hide out from the navy. 
So it's not all far-fetched to see here. Here it is slightly close to, um, whatchamacallit, Jelly Roger Island. And this would be something that her husband would know about. Yep, after a few battles and getting your level up to past 40, you grow up. Because in video games, how adult you are depends on how high your level is. That's video game world. If you want to become an adult, you are become level 100. Oh, that's not scary. So let's go, 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 go all the way over and back to Timber. Yay! Let's set sail finally to the Navy headquarters. Yeah, let's sail to the Navy headquarters. Yes, so to explain this, you have a health and then you have Kaz's ships. Kaz's ship. Kaz's ship cannot get damaged. Don't even worry about it. What you need to worry about is getting hit yourself so that you don't take damage. That so you don't fail this. <laughs> it does feel good like game over, obviously. Now, you probably will eventually think that this is easy just like Kaz's ship do every single thing for Well, yes, I think you could do that because Kaz's ship just moves up and down. And it will hit most of the enemies aside from sharks. But no, they have a gigantic navy just dreadnought here. It's worth 10,000 points, so it's definitely worth blowing up. This is the only time you'll ever see this immense thing that fires off three rounds of bullets in one shot. Even though there's only one cannon, but you know, their cannons are so good that they can just fire off three at once. And these things just move up and down constantly, there's no stop like the small. Well, I mean, there's a bit of a shorter stop than the small navy ship. These are definitely worth your time to shoot down. If you can shoot them down. And this will get you... Alright, we made it! This is the part where we get out of here. Good luck with that chest or something. <laughs> and you're gonna get... A chest full of doubles. Oh yeah. So here we are at the Navy headquarters. Let's go to the song chest. Trust me on this one. You're gonna, if you haven't opened the song chest since your last battle, you're gonna want to open it. Bradley. You scamps again. Why am I not surprised? Being tired of running into you, Navy scumbag. I tell you to get out of the way, but I know you won't. Well, things are a little different than the other times we've met. I'm an admiral now. One of the highest ranking officers in the Navy. Yeah, whatever. Your stupid Navy titles don't mean jack to me. You're still the same land blubber... We've beaten a bunch of times before. <clears throat> you know, along my rice power, you pirates were always the one thing that always slipped by me. That one nail that stuck out. That one wrench in the Navy's gears. And you came very close. 
but this is where the line is. I will not allow you delinquents into our headquarters. Get them, men. And this is just a complete blowover battle. By that I mean avalanche. Oh, and don't use too much um, alcohol and don't take too much damage either. But after that, you, you just do that and attack and you're basically done with this battle. Not that hard. Come on, Bradley, get out of the way. No, never. The Navy's headquarters is sacred. It's the last truly safe haven on this ocean. Lawbreakers like you should never enter it. What do you idiots think you're going to do there anyways? You want to challenge the head of the Navy? That's who we have to go through to get the chest? Then yeah, we are. Heh. <laughs> you know, there used to be a lot more pirates back in the day. Back in the good old days. But then the current head of the Navy came into power. And he started wiping out you by the fears. Now they only the pirates left to live in constant fear of the Navy. Navy leader is terrifying powerful. You'll never get to him. And even if you do, you never even you never come even close to defeating him. But it doesn't matter how impossible it is, I will defend this spot. And all that it symbolizes with my life. So Bell to end it all. Oh, it just breaks out right here with counter. That's not just wonderful. Um, first. Down. All right, now defense on avalanche. Let's go maelstrom, and I'm saving lightning for a special purpose. Don't worry, now Bradley actually has less HP than the mermaid does. However, he is five levels. Higher. So that kind of makes up for it. Let's go defense down again. Okay, Maelstrom. Um, attack. Attack. Freeze punch can freeze you. Just want to make note that. Of course, this boss shouldn't be too hard to actually just beat up. Arr, no. It's not over. Give it up, Navy Low Life. You got nothing left to fight us with. We're at the diet and let pirates scum into our headquarters. I will not leave the spot. I guess that's how it's gonna be. I want to finish you off, Bradley. It's my dad. And this is rather brave or stupid of Bradley to never leave. However, he is quite the loyal Navy. And so, it's down right under here. First breakout of the night. Boom! Oh, my last run through did 5,080 damage. Oh well. That was still getting dying by getting struck with a giant bolt of lightning that deals 50 times. Not 50 times, but 5 times. Your health. Well, not five times, but that's a bit of an exaggeration, but oh well. Here's still looked. Wait, 600, 700 times 5, 3,500. So, yeah, it would be more like eight, no, seven times your. No, eight times your. Screw math! Okay. So, next time on Dublin, we'll be entering the Navy headquarters itself. 
So, this has been Smashball. Subscribe. Rate the video up. Or not rate it. Like it. I'm out. Thank you.